your Instagram bio, remember, is your billboard. So make sure that when you are writing that description, that you are making sure that you're putting your best foot forward, you're putting your carrot, all these amazing things that you might have achieved in your business, make sure you are putting it in there and you are telling people exactly what it is that you want them to do and how you can help them. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited because in this video, I really want to break down how to create an Instagram bio that converts. What are some of the components that you need to make sure you have in your bio so that it's working for you? Because if you have these things in your bio, people will begin to notice your business, not only follow you, but they will be following you into your funnels and onto your website and all of that good stuff. So let's quickly dive in and talk about what to have on your Instagram bio. So I want to walk you through the bio as I look at it and why I say you need to create a bio that converts. This is so, so important. If we look at the top at these different bios, let's go from top to bottom. Right at the top, you'll see that it has the name of the page. For this, I really recommend that it's your name. So you can see that on mine, it says my name, Pamela Bassa. On Amy Porterfield, it says her name, Amy Porterfield, right? So it has the name of the page. When you come down, you see four different pieces of information. You see uh, the profile photo, you see the number of posts, you see the number of followers, you see the number of following. What I call this is your background check, right? That's what it's giving people, right? What it's saying to people who are coming to your profile is this is how popular you are right because it's showing them how many posts uh you know you have put up so that means you know how long you've possibly been on instagram how many followers you have which is how popular you are and how many you are following which is again how popular you are and you know how hungry you are for an audience if you see what i'm what i'm trying to say here so that next step of uh your your profile right your this funnel because it is a funnel your bio is a funnel guys i want you to remember this that second section really tells whoever is coming to your profile this is how popular this person is and they make their decision as to oh right i should follow them so many other people like them i should be following this person so uh, that is very very important now the next level down right under your photo is where you put in what you do this is where I want you to ensure that you have something that is searchable, right? So if you look at Amy Porterfield, her says online marketing educator. And in mine right now, it says clients on autopilot. Why did I come up with clients on autopilot? Well, because one of the, my pillar pieces of content is sales systems and sales funnels, which I help you to create sales systems and funnels that bring you clients on autopilot. So because this is a huge desire, of my audience this is what one of my carrots is when you land on my page i'm saying hey this is what i, I help you to achieve similarly with amy porterfield her says online marketing educator so the next level down after that description is how your page was set up so this is way in the settings when you set up your page you were asked to uh, select what type of page it is so amy portfield has public figure i have personal blog in my experience so far i haven't found anything uh good or better or, or or bad about this but make sure you are careful what to select but let's keep moving because this is where the gold is in the description you're going to have space to describe what it is that you do or to put some sort of description. Now, I want you to be really careful with this description. And so for this, I'm going to read out uh, Amy Porterfield's description and I'm going to read mine out. And you can see that we're saying the same things. We've just said it in two different ways. So Amy Porterfield says, helping entrepreneurs build successful online businesses and profitable digital courses. Check it out and take note of the emojis that she has used. Well, she's talking about building successful online businesses and profitable digital courses because this is what her offers are about, right? And so she's put that right in her description. Now, Instagram doesn't give us a lot of time uh, to talk about what we do. So you have to be really, really careful what description you put up there. So 
because I have a slightly smaller audience to Amy Porterfield and you might watching this have a smaller audience I have around 10k or just below or something at this stage right I have split my description into three different things the first thing I have there is storytelling and evergreen sales systems why because these are the two cool things that my my niche my audience are looking for the second thing I have is a brag alert it says 120k in three days no ads right so if you're somebody who's meeting me for the first time that's going to get you curious $120,000 in three days without running any paid ads how did she do it right so I'm putting my best foot forward the next thing that I have is my call to action in this case and it changes depending on what it is that we are promoting but in this case it says join holiday cash flow bootcamp and create your black friday offer and there's a link right underneath for you to click right there now when you click that link it takes you to a sales page now let's talk very quickly about that call to action you've heard me say many times that Instagram has many, many micro platforms and Instagram uh, uh, is a mini funnel in itself. Now, because at the time of recording this, we are still only allowed the one link inside of our bio, unless of course you're using Linktree or any of the many different uh, tools that allow you to have multiple links embedded within that one link, you really are only allowed one link. What I highly recommend is that that one link leads people into your sales funnel right into your sales funnel so any marketer worth their salt or any business owner you find that when you click that link it's not just taking people to their home page it's not just taking people to their about page now if you don't have a funnel feel free to do that right take people however to something that leads them into your business so that they can grab a lead magnet a freebie from you uh, follow you on youtube buy something from you right you've worked hard to bring people onto your platform they're there because they are interested in what you have to say so make sure that when you click when they click that link that it takes them on a journey that is suited to where they are and again this brings me back to really understanding your audience and understanding your niche now let's keep going with looking at what the profile looks like now under that it shows how many people follow you right it shows their faces now why is this important it's called leverage right when you look at when people look at oh who is following Pam or who is following you for example if it's another account that they recognize again this solidifies to your prospective follower that you have an account worth following because other people that they know are also following you and then right underneath that you have the call to action to either follow send the message and you have an arrow pointing below now we don't stop there with the with the bio now the bio technically is finished but there is one more thing that I want to point your attention to and that is your highlights and in fact I'm going to create another separate video for you know how to really use your Instagram highlights to grow your business and to you know get clients and sales and all of these wonderful things that you want to be able to do but your Instagram bio, remember, is your billboard. So make sure that when you are writing that description, that you are making sure that you're putting your best foot forward, you're putting your carrot, all these amazing things that you might have achieved in your business, make sure you are putting it in there and you are telling people exactly what it is that you want them to do and how you can help them. And finally, before I wrap up this section about your Instagram bio, make sure that the link that they click, make sure that it's something that leads them into your sales system or your sales funnel and if you're wondering Pat, Pam what is a sales funnel or a sales system what is this thing that you keep talking about then check out these two videos where I'm talking about how to build sales systems and in fact I show you how to build them live on this channel click it there's nothing to sell to you just click it and watch it and go ahead and do that because it is because of these funnels that you know we have successful businesses online so make sure you check them out now finally whilst we're talking about the profile you you want to make sure that you have a profile picture that pops let's talk about this profile picture now you'll notice in my profile picture I'm wearing bright yellow I'm wearing a yellow suit there's a reason for that I'm wearing a yellow suit because I wanted to catch your attention I want to be I wanted to draw you in I want it to be unforgettable I want it to be a bright color that you remember 
So when you're thinking about your profile picture, I want you to make sure that it's a picture that helps you to put your best face forward. So make sure that you are smiling, make sure that it's welcoming, make sure that it's a face that people want to get to know. But most importantly, make sure it's something that attracts people's attention, that how do you do it? Well, there are several ways of doing it. One is, uh, you know, choose the colors that you wear. So you could choose to wear a bright color like I'm wearing. Another way that you can do it is to put a round circle around your picture. You can put a colored circle around your picture like this. Whatever you do, make sure that uh, you have thought about that because I have found personally that, you know, with the profile photo being so small, you need it to pop out. You need it to really, really stand out. So make sure it pops by wearing a bright color or putting a circle around it or having a colored background in your profile photo. These are the various uh, ways that you can use your profile picture to stand out and on that note if you haven't followed me on instagram here is my instagram handle go ahead and follow me there the link will also be in the description join me over there where i do a lot of reels stories and all of that good stuff practicing what i preach so go ahead and join me there and on that note if you haven't yet subscribed and you're loving this video do me a solid and hit that subscribe button so that you can see even more of this type of content i hope that you got a lot of value uh, from this if you haven't already, make sure you check out our playlist on Instagram. Let me know in the comments, what is the one thing that you struggle with when it comes to growing your Instagram account? I may create um, a whole other video uh, just based off of that comment and I respond to everything. I hope that you stay blessed. I hope that you remain well and I'll see you in my next video. Make sure that you check out this playlist where I share all of the good stuff about growing your Instagram account.